Hello, I'm David from TalkingTechAndAudio.com and on this week's video, I'm going to be talking about two phrases that sound particularly scary but really aren't and we are talking about destructive and non-destructive editing inside of Adobe Audition. Lovely to see you again. If you've subscribed already, that's great. And if you haven't, well, you know what to do. The buttons are just down there. So if you're new to the world of audio editing, you may be coming across these really scary sounding phrases, destructive and non-destructive editing. What are they all about? Well, inside of Adobe Audition, there are two distinctive ways that you can edit your audio in the waveform view, which is called destructive, and in the multi-track view, which is non-destructive. And that is what we're going to look into on this week's video. So let's take a look at the two ways of editing audio in Audition. This is the waveform editor. Virtually all the audio that I edit for these YouTube videos I do destructively in waveform. I kind of got a little bit of experience and I know what I'm looking to achieve. That helps. The other thing I suggest you always do, and I always do myself, is to save yourself an original version. So if this is your original audio that you're bringing in, always save it somewhere in the original format so you know you've got that to come back to. Trust me, I've made that mistake before and it's a lovely peace of mind to have to know you've got the original audio to go back to. Now let's have a look at this term destructive, shall we? If I was just highlight that bit of audio and hit delete, it's gone. That's destructive. But this is where people get really worried about that term. You can bring it back. Don't forget, you've got your original saved anyway. But if you just deleted that bit of audio, Command Z brings it straight back again. Another way that you can bring it back, if we edit and delete that same bit of audio, if you go into edit, you can undo that delete audio and it brings it back. So not until you hit save are any of these edits final. You can undo them. It just means that it is a destructive, quick way of editing. You can also, of course, use, for instance, any effects you want in here. So we could bring in a little bit of, say, compression and we can add that into the rack there. We could go really crazy heavy compression. And one of the things I love about editing in waveform is that you can see in this preview editor the effects that you're having. You can see the difference in the waveform there. If I undo that, you can see there's a big difference there. I love looking real time what you're doing to your audio, and that can only be done inside of the waveform editor. So two big reasons for doing it are speed and also this preview window, which lets you see what you're doing. Another area I love this is when you're removing any background noise. And if you use a spectral display, if I just turn out for a minute and that's shift D, you can see what you're doing here as well. If you're looking say for sibilance or background noise, you can look at your spectral display and see exactly what edits you've made. And I love that inside of the waveform editor. So that's a destructive way of editing inside of Adobe Audition. So let us look now at editing in the multi-track session. If we open ourselves up a new session, bring in a voice and bring in say some music and you can see the way that we can edit quickly in here. I'll just turn that music down. Now let's say in here, if we want to slice some audio out um, and we decide, right, that's what's gonna go. It's gone, but the great thing is in the multi-track, you can just use these handles to drag it out and it comes back again, it's never actually gone. So that is a great way of editing inside of the multi-track. You're making edits, but it's non-destructive. And of course, you make all of these edits, it's not until you bounce that track out that then you've got the final export that you want. But of course, all of those edits that you make, and don't forget, you can again use the, uh, for instance, you could use any of your rack effects here, apply them to whichever track you want to. All of these are non-destructive. You can open up this session again, come back in, edit any of these areas. If you wanted to alter your compressor, for instance, on your track, you can make any changes you want here in the multi-track view in your session, and you can just bounce out as many different versions of it as you want. So I think that's kind of explained to you that this is the non-destructive method where you can make cuts and edits, but it's always gonna be there for you. And the main thing is you've got that session. Once you save your session down, you can come back into that session open up any of the effects, open up any of the edits. You can de breath, compress, get rid of background noise, whatever you want to do inside of here, completely non-destructively. And of course, the quicker way that I showed you earlier, the destructive method is by using in the waveform view, the two ways of editing audio inside of Adobe Audition. Hopefully that's helped you understand the different ways to edit audio inside of Adobe Audition. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And speaking of comments, leave me your comments down below if there's any other areas you'd like me to help you with inside Adobe Audition. And if you've got a few spare moments, why don't you pop on over to my website, talkingtechandaudio.com, leave me an email address, 
I'm building up a database and as soon as I've got enough contact details, I'm going to be doing a midweek video just to let you know what's going on behind the channel and what ideas I've got. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.